not black? 80%? Come on, y'all. We so, about? Yeah. Uh so listen, I, I can I can attest to this, right? Uh most of the most of the people who who rent out uh my my Airbnb are <clears throat> are not melanin. Are not melanin. And then when I was there, and you know, anytime I'm in Medellin, I'm I'm usually on my balcony, right? And Parkeyetis is right across the street. Flyboy can attest to this, right? And so I'm seeing, I'm not saying melanin, you know, I'm not saying black dudes don't go, but what I'm saying is that the overwhelming majority of the guys who are in Park Ayetis, um, who are actually like, you know, loud and being like rambunctious are white guys. And it's just the truth. And I'm telling you from what I see. Uh, is, is your mic echoing? Because I, I can't hear it, but they said they hear it. Uh, not. <clears throat> I think that's old. I think that's okay, old. Okay, yeah. All right. That's old. Uh, hold on. Please, please let me know. Please let me know if, if my mic is uh if my mic is still echoing. All right, we got a lot. We got. Somebody said facts. His, his mic's good now. I right, cool. I got it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But what you know, what I was saying is that um over oh, overwhelmingly. Okay. Shout, shout to um homie right here from the Bay Area. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot his name was, but he's from the Bay Area. Um, again, paper? No, this guy right here. Um, in the camera. Mind you, oh, look, oh, 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 oh. real quick. I'm, I want to slow this down. <laughs> it's only me and him, the only black people in parking years at this time. Yo, this is a Saturday night, y'all. This is a Saturday night. A Saturday night. Good, keep going, King James. Yeah, I mean, long, long story short, you know, long story short, like you, you hear, um, uh, you know. You hear, oh, like uh, with, with the with the protests, and I think like someone had, um, someone had like uh, like like had drew a picture of like a, of a of a black American uh, mm -hmm. with, with the protests and stuff like that. And as I mentioned, like that's Parque Yetis, like it's a section of a section. You know what I mean? The section of a section, and and people think like, oh, like it's just a whole bunch of black guys in in Parque Yetis, and and that's. I'm not saying that like black guys don't go to park yet, but what I'm saying is most of the guys who are partaking in uh, extracurricular activities are white guys. I mean, again, like I said, I just, I feel as though this era of technology is making it easier to show the inclusivity of what really goes on versus what the media is spreading. And, and I think that's the, Best feeling in the world. I could I couldn't imagine wanting to grow up in any other era. And this club right here was bro. Look, if I went there by myself, you think they would have let me come in the club with this camera and film like this? No. But because I had the Colombian woman filming, the black Colombian, Afro-Colombian powerful woman filming. Bro, I was able to do all this stuff, bro. Ain't nobody saying to me the whole night. The whole night. Not a word to her, not a word to me. We filmed for like three hours, two hours straight. Two hour street. So again, um, you know, uh, let me see, let me see. Um, oh, uh, the other one, tier one for sure. Yeah, definitely. Right, let me see. I know I, we get we getting down we getting down to the end of this conversation. Like I said, this is probably gonna be under two hours, but um, I just want to make sure I get to everybody's comment. Flyboy, did you meet up with the Afro Colombian lady boy that you swipe right? Come on, B. What? What are we doing, bro? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hell nah, bro. No, because it was it was a wild thing. You gotta see the scene, but nah, not at all. Not at all. Oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? One of those like pre gay things that you did? Are you yeah, so like yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, see, okay, um, listen, okay, listen. So, so let me, so, so let me speak on this, right? And, and I've and I've talked to Flyboy behind the scenes as, as like I said, we've known each other since fourteen years old. Like that's. That's not even my best friend. Like that's my brother, right? Yeah. So, uh, I personally, I personally get weary when when Flyboy is swiping Tinder in Colombia, and I'm not weary for him because I know he's good. He's such a well seasoned traveler. But for guys who don't know what they're doing, like I'm just like I, I cringe. I cringe when I see that because I know that you know what you're doing, but these guys they don't know what they're doing. 
And they're like, well, Flyboy can do it. I can do it, too. And it's like, bro, Flyboy's been traveling since he was 18 years old. So he's been traveling. Uh, you about to be 40, but uh, uh, over, what, 19, almost 20 years. Yep, 21. Oh, well, 21. Yeah, my fault. 22, actually. Almost 22 years. That's crazy. So, so yeah, so 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 20 plus years. So 20 plus years of traveling. Okay, you could do that and, and go on Tinder, or whatever, because you know like what to look out for. Oh, this don't look good, this don't look right. You know what I'm saying? You know the watch outs, but guys who are like first time travelers or they like not well seasoned, they just like, oh well, shoot, I see the baddies on Tinder, man. You know, that ain't gonna happen to me until it happens to you. Um, touch store. <clears throat> if that is true, it has to have happened in the last week and a half because we I just left Monday and it was open. And then uh, Danger the Hookup just did a video he released yesterday and it looked open. So I don't know. I don't know if that is true, then it must have just happened. I, I won't be able to tell you because I, I don't have boots on the ground now. But I'll be back in Medellin this year because I have to go, go to my lawyer a couple times before we buy the place. Um, so yeah, so so let me yeah let, let me know let me know when you're doing that and then uh, and then um you can um do the uh, apartment thing. Okay. Um, they just assume that Negroes came again. It, it's the way it is, but you you know you got to find a way, man. That's what life is about. Finding a way that works for you. It's not. It's not even. It's not even a. It's not even like a Negro. Like it's. A, it's a. Uh, it's a gringo. Like if if you like if you a foreigner with a camera, like they think that you up to no good. And what Flyboy is saying, how he was able to get away with it because it was one of their people who was filming. It's one of their people who was filming. Yeah, Jay Brad, that's That was the reason why I had the chocolate chip record for me because. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I, I paid it too. I definitely paid it. But I um I had her record for me because of the fact that I knew. Because I saw Danger get away with it. I knew if Danger can get away with it, and he's a Colombian from Cartagena, he got away with it in Medellin, then I can get a woman from Medellin to get away with it. Of course, I was going to pick a black woman. Oh, oh, my, my fault, my fault. What happened? Oh, no, I I, miss, I misread what he, uh, I had misread what he said. I thought he said Negro, my fault. Oh, uh, but, but, but really quick, I just want to jump ahead, because tomorrow night, oh, hold on. My dude, oh, yeah. tomorrow night, shout out to QB Passport Flexing tomorrow night. The fly boy and I are pulling up on my man QB's channel. <laughs> definitely, definitely make sure you guys check out QB Passport Flexing channel. Um, you know, he is one of the go-to gurus as far as traveling in Mexico. He knows Mexico very well. He, he got, you know, he has boots on the ground, man. So shout out to QB Passport Flexing. We will fly boy that will be there tomorrow night and i can't wait salute my guy qb yeah my fault i just wanted to jump no, in no, I, 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 I was reading and said the mic might have been on my side i mean the mic <coughs> been on my side. i don't know why it would have been like that but um oh, let go get to that part already let me see uh pause 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 <laughs> go, go to the next one move over move, move that out the way b <laughs> I, I was gonna get to where he's at right here um yeah yeah uh jenny Lau was definitely a vibe um, you'll see that coming up on a, in a video also. Jenny Lau is definitely a vibe. Yeah. The thing about Jenny Lau is that I think Jenny Lau is a place where you got to take a date. I don't feel as though it's the atmosphere for you to be able to pick up women in Jenny Lau's. First of all, the music is super loud. And this every time you go in there, it's mostly just people sitting down in sections. So I think if you got a dope, a dope little nice little chocolate drop to take with you Jenny it, 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 it's a chill spot it's a, it's chill, a chill spot, spot. like I, I yeah and, and you're gonna need to buy a bottle you got to go in and buy a bottle now the bottles are only like 60 dollars or something like that maybe 80 dollars max something like that yeah. so it's not it's not no real money um but uh i bought a bottle we had some drinks i think we almost finished the whole half of the bottle like i was ripped bro Martin, <laughs> i was ripped like i haven't been ripped like this since like Hako costa rica i I had one drink with, with this woman here, and then she had two shots. And then I went and we met up with the chocolate job again. <clears throat> we went to Jenny Lyles and had a whole bottle of tequila. We drank like 75% of the bottle. And then after that, we went to Jams. Now, Jams is a club on 33rd Street, right? Or, you know, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's right there. It's like, it's like right up the block. Right up okay. the block from up from California. Where's the Laurelis? Yeah, yeah. So, so well, it, 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 it's it's technically in Berlin, but you know, wait, it, James it, in Berlin? 
Yeah, it's it's technically in Berlin, but it's 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 right there. It's right I, there. So before we get to James, this is the shot. <laughs> this is the shot I took right there, and then after the shot, here's Jenny Lyles right here. Now this the we had this whole bottle. We had a whole bottle. Of course, I made sure this time I drank water. I drank a lot of water. There's going to be a story time with this. I can't put it here because I'll show you some picture. But there's going to be a story time, another ED story time. Unfortunately, <laughs> another ED story time. Unfortunately, and um, as you can see, this like I said, uh, Jenny Lau's is more of a chill spot. You can see I, I put it in slow motion so you guys can see, but um, you see everybody separated. It's rare that you just walk up to them, even though there are groups of women here sometimes. But most people come in couples and stuff. You see, like here you'll see like a table full of women, but even them they're all in the table back here, and everybody's just sitting here all in groups and stuff. So it's not really like a a spot I would go to without a date. Um, yeah. So then after Jenny Lyles, we went to um Jams. Now King James, maybe you could tell us more about Jams because King James knows the got the connections in this spot. He, he can go more into it. Yeah. Um, so so I, I've been going to Jams for about four years. Um, so that's actually um one of the places where like I, I would bring my ex, uh, my ex girl. Um, she and I have been rocking out for like three years and we, we would, we would, you know, we would go there. Um, we would go there pretty often. So I got cool. So I got cool with one of the DJs, like the, like the main DJ, like he kind of like books, like the acts and, and, you know, like any like performers and stuff like that. So he and I are really cool. And then, um, we got a, we got a, um, what do you call it? We got a VIP, like, VIP. Like, like right, like, like right on the stage and, and like right next to him, like, like where he DJs. So um, with our section, which was really cool because like we could see like who was walking in the club and then also we could see who would be like walking up like to the VIP stage, you know, so which was, you know, which was really, really cool, man. Uh, for those who don't know, Jams is a hip hop dance hall, a reggae dance hall spot. 